we'll get started with Dan Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. Mike, you fought a lot of battles with the, with the guys that went out the door yesterday and Vooch, AG, and uh, Evan and helped turn this thing into a playoff team. How tough was it to, to see him go? And then, you know, also, how do you then I- embrace the challenge of, of building something similar and turning this group into something with, with, with the, some of these young guys? Um, you know, it's obviously tough to see, you know, your teammates go uh, with those three guys and Gary as well. Um, you know, it, it's hard. You know, you build a friendship with those guys. You go to war with them. And, uh, you know, you accomplish goals and you fail. And, you know, you go through ups and downs. And, uh, you know, you just build a bond. So it's obviously, you know, it's hard um, to see people leave. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's part of the business. I've, you know, kind of been through this before. And, um, you know, it's not easy on the guys who, you know, who, who are coming in as well. You know, I think, uh, you know, as you know, as much as it hurts to see guys go, you know, you got to turn the page and, and, and give the guys that are walking through the door, you know, a warm welcome. And, um, I think that's what everyone's focus is on the team is just, you know, giving those guys um, a warm welcome. And, and you know, they're going to be, you know, playing shortly. So, um, you know, we got to get going. Josh Robbins, The Athletic. Michael, as you know, this this team's coming off two playoff appearances. How do you and the players who remain uh, stay enthused about a team that is pivoting toward a, a rebuild, toward a reset? Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously, you know, um, you know, the outlook changes a little bit. Um, you know, our goal is still to win. Uh, every time we step on the floor, you know, we want to win. Those guys are coming in. Um, they want to win as well. Um, a lot of them from a, you know, a winning program. So, you know, that's, you know, I know that's what they come in here to, you know, and, and they expect to win. So uh, we're still going to try to, you know, do everything we can. Um, you know, obviously, we're going to have to be a little bit more patient. Um, you know, I think that will, you know, ease some frustration a little bit. You know, if, if you know, our, our mindset is a little different, okay, we we need to, you know, feel each other out. I don't think we, you know, can get so caught up in, in wins and losses. Um, I think it, the more important thing to do is, um, you know, focus on gelling with each other as a team, um, you know, finding out, you know, figuring out each other, feeling out each other, and, you know, get healthy. You know, we still got a lot of guys hurt. And then uh, move on from there. Philip Rossman, Reich, Orlando Magic Daily. Coach said that the that the new guys were were in town. I don't know if they were around for shoot around. Have you have you met any any of them? You said you're you know you guys the focus is welcome welcoming them in. How how have you guys welcomed them in at, at this point already? Um, yeah, you know we got all their numbers yesterday. You know just shout out, gave them a text if you know they need anything. You know we're here. Um, you know we had I had a breakfast with um, R J and Gary uh, this morning. So, um, you know, we talked a little bit, um, you know, it's, you know, we had, they haven't been around too, too much. They, you know, got here this morning. They were only here for a little bit. So, um, you know, I'm sure we'll talk as a team, you know, once we get everybody and, um, you know, let them know, you know, we want them to succeed as, you know, in, in whatever they want to do and whatever their endeavors are, and, um, you know, help them as, as much as possible. Christos Salta, Sport DNA. Hello, Michael. I would, uh, how big is the responsibility for you as one of the most experienced guys in that roster? And what is the expectation and the main goal until the end of the season? Um, you know, I think it's important that, you know, I, I uh, you know, be real vocal and, you know, try to uh, keep the team together and, um, you know, us, to, you know, to keep taking steps forward. We're going to need, a, you know, a positive influence. And, you know, that's where, you know, I'm going to try to, you know, lead that and, you um, like I said, you know, it, it's hard to, you know, sit here and say, like, you know, we want the seventh seed, the sixth seed and, you know, whatever, you know, obviously, like I said, I, I'm not, not by no means am I, you know, throwing in the towel or anything. I, every time I step on the court, I, you know, I want to compete. I want to I want to win every game. But, um, you know, we need to establish ourselves, you know, as a team, we need to establish a culture. Um, we had a lot of guys leave. Um, we need to figure out, you know, what is our base, you know, you know, our, our roles and, you know, there's a lot of things to figure out before, you know, we kind of set goals on, you know, where we're going to be at. And I think that's most important. We need to get healthy. We need to figure out and learn each other. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's hard because we don't have much practice time. So, you know, it may take a little longer than we need, but, um, you know, we just need to go out there, play hard, compete, be confident in each other and, and give us, give ourselves some time and, and be patient. Dane Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. 
Mike, you, you've been on the other side of this thing when, when you were drafted in, in, into Philadelphia, being the young guy that was kind of trying to find his way at the same time, you know, an organization was trying to reestablish their identity. Uh, how much of that experience helps you as you're trying to, to guide some of these young guys uh, along the way uh, in, as the organization goes through a reset and, and tries to find itself once again? Um, I think it helps a lot, you know, since I've been there and, you know, I've gone through it. Um, you know, I've gone through the frustrations, the ups and downs and, you know, all the emotions. And, um, you know, I definitely, you know, being here and, 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 you know, having a similar situation, doing it over again is, um, is, is definitely helpful. You know, I think, um, uh, my mindset is a lot better, um, you know, and I want to instill that into the young guys and, you know, what are we looking forward to kind of, what, if, what is our goals for now and how can we take each day at a time to, you know, really improve and not so much really focus on results right now, just focus on day in and day out, you know, getting better, getting healthy and uh, gelling as a team. Josh Robbins, The Athletic. Michael, I'd like to pick up on one of the interesting, many interesting things you said uh, just now. Uh, when you lose five teammates and more important than that, five really good people, uh, does the team have to rebuild the culture and create its own brand new culture? I, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, those guys were the, you know, the, the big guys on the team. Um, they've been here for, you know, seven, eight years. And, um, you know, they've gone through so much and that they, um, you know, accomplished a lot in, in you know, just being here and, and playing hard each night. Um, they're the ones who, you know, built this foundation. And, um, you know, it's, you know, we got a bunch of new guys now. We got, you know, guys have been here for a few years. So it is important. You know, it is important to establish a culture. Um, who do we want to be from here, you know, going on out? And, um, you know, what do we what do we want to do? You know, we got great young talent. We got a bunch of draft picks, you know, coming in. And, you know, for those guys, you know, what are they going to walk in the door? You know, what are they going to be looking at? Are they going to be looking at guys who already have an established culture? And, you know, they can come in and, and hit the ground running with the rest of us. So they're going to be, you know, coming here, you know, worrying about, you know, got guys here that are worried about, oh, we traded this dude, this guy, this guy. We had a chance to make the playoffs. You know what I mean? We, we got to we want to make, um, you know, this place, you know, a place where guys walk in and be like, OK, you know, they mean business. You know, they, they you know, they have goals that they want to set. They're taking things serious. Um, they want everybody to accomplish their goals. They want. They play as a team. They, you know, they're just a just a great organization, and we have great leaders at the top. And um, now we just want to keep following. Dan Savage, Mike, you've you've been an instrumental part in since Cliff's been here. This team establishing itself as a defensive oriented group that that comes to fight every single night. You know, regardless of who's out there, you guys have obviously been shorthanded in, in some of these situations already this season, just due to injuries. Uh, how much do you, do you want to keep that element going, and, and how imperative is that uh, with this new group that's coming in? Um, yeah, definitely want to keep that going. Um, you know, we got you know great defenders on this team. We got guys that work hard. Um, so, you know, we can't let that go. We got every time we step on the floor, it's got to be, you know, our defense first. And, and, you know, that, that leads to a good offense. And, uh, we got, you know, great guys coming in that can defend really well. Um, so, you know, we, we, um, we, we definitely want to establish that and, and we want to keep that rolling. Um, you know, that's something that's never going to change with coach Cliff. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Mike. Thank you.